Ah, uh, yes, Cuphead DLC. Oh, it's such a beautiful game, and it's not dark at all. Oh, yes, it's totally normal, and there's nothing wrong with, like, it's not, it's not a game that disrespects Christianity or something. But, um, anyway, subscriber, this guy's coming for you. Okay, so we're go today we are going to talk about all the secrets that we have in Cuphead and Cuphead DLC. Let's start off. First off, we're going to go ahead and first talk about Glumstone the Giant. This first secret here, you could see that there's these two puppets. And you, I, they're meant to resemble King Dice here and the Devil right here. Okay, next secret. Now we're going to move on to the King's Leap and... We got the rook here, and if you s look at this guillotine he's dreaming of, we'll, we'll get back to that later. Speaking of the King's Leap, though, all if you if you hadn't noticed already, but you might have, um, all of these are based off of chess pieces, like the rook, the bishop, oops, the pawns, and the queen. You're wondering why the king in Cuphead does not fight. That's because the... Well, that's kind of what I think. This is my opinion. It's because the king is the weakest piece in the game. That's what I think. Okay. Oh, and speaking of that guillotine, it looks like Betty Boop with the hairstyle and everything. Okay, so next up, we're going to talk about stuff like this secret boss. Oh, man, I forgot to say at the beginning. Warning. Spoilers. So, first of all, this skeleton in the background and these two hands holding the platform look very familiar. The devil's skeleton. And when the devil is holding the cups in the um, death quote scene. So also, um, <laughs> I'm sorry for this one, but um, with T-Bone in the Phantom Express fight, this might not be accurate, even though this game was, you know, made around the same time as the other. But I think this guy has some relationship to Papyrus from Undertale. I don't know exactly, but we're just going to keep looking on that. So, Okay, next up, we're going to look at Elder Kettle. Oh, yes, a nice, friendly guy, except for the fact that he tried to kill his two. But anyway, this dude... He looks like, um, since, since the game is kind of, like, based on 1930s cartoons, we're gonna talk about how he looks like Mr. Coffee Pot from an, from an old cartoon called Picnic Panic. Speaking of Picnic Panic, this cow from Picnic Panic looks like Esther Winchester. J just saying, because, you know, they might not be the same. But next up, we're gonna look at, oh, yes, it's the Flying Gentleman. We... Actually, we got this guy back in the game as moon as the moonshine mob. Also, speaking of that, look at this. They brought back they brought back the um scrap boss fight the light. I'm so glad they actually planned to do that. Also, speaking of that, also these fly cops they might be connected to this cop in some way. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, Doctor Cow's robot also is the Iron Giant. Just kidding. Speaking of Dr. Cow's robot, Dr. Cow here reminds me of two different bad guys in video games. Dr. Robotnik from Sonic and Bowser from Super Mario. I mean, you all know him. He, he needs no one to draw. Baron is Von Bon Bon. Now, this might be hard to understand, assuming that one is evil and one's not. But Baron is Von Bon Bon reminds me of... Oh, oh, and the background, too, and everything. It reminds me of that queen from Candyland. I'm sorry. It just, it just really popped in my head there, so... Just keep going. The Jimmy the Great here has these pyramids that he launched that look like this thing. The Illuminati. I saw that might be connected. Please don't bully me for this, but... Cagney Carnation, this face, this face. It's flowy, man. No arguing there. It's flowy. They both want souls. It's flowy. Also, there's this crappy Netflix show, which has this little thingy in it. Yeah, whatever that is. 
reminds me of Goofy LaGrande. Again, crappy Netflix show. This thing, it's Goofy LaGrande. Okay, so Hildeberg, Hildeberg, Hildeberg. I'm going to say that one more time. Hildeberg, Hildeberg, Hindenburg. I'll say that the Hindenburg incident was basically just a knockout, folks. Okay, so next we have Wally Warbles. Wally Warbles kind of reminds me of this bird from Sinbad the Sailor or something, whatever. I mean, it, it really looks so similar. I mean, blue body, red head, beak, and everything. Almost everything. Like, speaking of this, we also have Bluto from Popeye. And, oh, you can't disagree with me when I say that these, like, this is Captain Brian Beat or something. And olive oil here is a Sally Sage play to me. I don't know. Werner Warman is, of course, with this cat. It's, I mean, you can't think of any other duo when you see Tom and Jerry, honestly. Also, um, almost speaking of Werner Warman, we also have the cat from Werner Warman and the Howling Aces dogfight. Oh, yeah. And so, um, well, that concludes um the cuphead secret so we'll see you later and subscribe to dark creeper videos see you later